Hi there, Doug Stimo with IT Creations. Today, we'll be taking an in-depth look at Dell's Precision 7820 Tower Workstation. This is Dell's second most powerful precision workstation and offers dual Intel scalable processors just like the 7920. The main difference between the two platforms is support for memory, storage, and GPUs. That said, this is a powerful machine in its own right with an impressive range of options and the flexibility to adapt to your work style and needs. Let's take a look. New to this platform are Intel's Xeon scalable processors supporting more and faster memory. Storage has also been bumped up to 24 terabytes. With these new processors, the system supports six memory channels and up to 384 gigabytes of registered DDR4 memory modules with a dual processor configuration. Compare that to four memory channels and 256 gigabytes of memory on the previous generation Precision 7810. On Dell's latest generation 7820, each memory module gets its very own memory channel. You also get support for HotSwap M.2 and U.2 PCI NVMe SSD drives using the front drive base. The system has a generous allocation of ports both front and back. Up front you'll find the on-off button, two USB 3.1 Type-A, two USB 3.1 Type-C ports, and a universal audio jack. Dell offers two USB 3.1 Type-C ports in their standard control panel, a slight improvement over HP which only includes two USB 3.1 Type-C ports on their premium control panel. On the back of the system, there's a 950 watt power supply, six USB 3.1 Type 1 Type A ports, one serial port, one RJ45 network port, two PS2 ports, one audio line out, and one audio line in microphone port. There's also two internal USB 2.0 ports, one of which can be split with a cable to support two separate USB ports. Are you interested in Dell's Precision 7820 Tower Workstation? If you are, for a limited time, you can save up to $250 off the purchase of a system listed at $2,500 or more. We have all the parts to custom configure the system to your specification, including top-of-the-line GPUs like NVIDIA's Quadro P6000, P5000, and P4000 graphics cards. Oh, you prefer AMD's Radeon Pro WX 9100 or the 7100? We have those too. Call us today, give us your spec sheet, and start bragging tomorrow. The chassis may look similar to the older version, but it has been completely redesigned for better airflow and acoustics. The handles have also been switched to the other side of the chassis. The good thing, when you place the chassis on its side, there's a little shelf to store your iPhone when it's charging. All the manufacturers do a pretty good job of making their platforms easy to service, with tool-free access to upgrade or replace most components, and Dell is no exception. Blue color blocks throughout the chassis indicate touch points for easy component removal. We have a base version at the moment, so looking inside the chassis, you may have noticed there's only a single processor and this platform can support dual Intel processors from the bronze, silver, gold, or platinum families. The second processor is attached to the system board using the CPU-1 board connector and provides an additional six memory slots. Mounting the second processor requires a metal mounting bracket that helps support the circuit board and separates the PCI slots from the CPU and memory modules. Each CPU also gets a low-profile heatsink and low-profile air baffle to direct fresh air over the processors and memory. A large handle clamps down the CPU mezzanine in place. This is a significant change from the single motherboard with dual sockets and is most likely how they made the 10% reduction in chassis size. HP uses this double-decker design on its new Z6 G4 platform and the previous generation Z640, promoting their configuration as a better way to address single and multi-threaded applications. It looks like Dell is probably drinking the same Kool-Aid. Multi-channel cooling keeps everything at stable temperatures with two large fans behind the drive bays and one in front of the PCI slots pulling fresh air into the chassis. Two more gigafans at the back of the chassis push the air out through the perforated panel on the back of the system. Temperature sensors throughout track the various components and enable the system to automatically adjust fan speeds to ensure critical cooling of components. Although even with all those fans, the system is still very quiet, and with SSDs installed, you'll wonder if it's even turned on. The 7820 supports both SAS, SATA, and NVMe drives, but only SATA natively. Internal storage on the system includes four flex bays that can support either four 2.5 or four 3.5 inch SAS or SATA HDDs or SSDs. You can also install a maximum of two hot swap M.2 drives in two special front mounted drive caddies. If you'll be using Windows, then the M.2 drives can be placed in a RAID 0 or 1 using integrated Intel rapid storage technology with virtual RAID on CPU. Need more storage? Then you can install one of Dell's Precision Ultra Drive Duo or Quad cards with two or four M.2 drives, respectively. M.2 drives not only add more storage, but super fast storage. The front 5.25 inch media bay can also be converted to support either a single 3.5 inch drive or two 2.5 inch drives for a total of either five 3.5 inch or six 2.5 inch drives. There are six six gigabit per second SATA ports on the system board, plus two ports to support optical storage devices. Intel's rapid storage technology with VROC is designed specifically to direct connect NVMe-based SSDs to the Intel scalable CPU PCIe lanes. 
VROC enables RAID configurations of 0, 1, 5, or 10. However, for both the front-mounted NVMe devices and the UltraDrive Duo or Quad Card, you will need the optional VROC motherboard activation key that plugs directly into the system board. Installing SAS drives on this system requires an optional Broadcom Mega RAID controller, and there are two to choose from. One features two ports and the other has four ports, but both support RAID configurations using U.2 NVMe devices with a PCIe cable. Both can also be used to support SAS SATA only, NVMe only, or a mixed configuration. The 5.25 inch media bay on the front of the system can support a full-size optical device or you can add additional storage as mentioned above. The media bay can also be used to support more specific workloads with a Dell Professional Audio Interface for audio professionals or for enhanced security you can add a smart card reader, CAC PIV. And you may be asking yourself what those acronyms mean. CAC is Common Access Card and PIV is Personal Identification Verification Card and you need all three for authentication. The reader, CAC card and PIV cards. Dell also has a few software products to enhance your productivity. Dell's Precision Optimizer comes free with the system and automatically adjusts the system settings to get the most performance out of a range of professional ISV certified applications. CASW, which stands for Cache Acceleration Software Workstations, prioritizes hot information on SSDs. The other day you don't use as frequently, receives less priority, and can be stored on slower spinning disks. CASW enables improved system memory caching on an SSD, utilizing its inherent speed to increase storage performance. There are lots of security features on the system, including a lock loop on the back with integrated Kensington cable slot, optional lockable hard drive trays, an internal lock that locks the hard drive access panel, and a PSU lock. Those are just the physical layers of protection. On the software side, you get Dell Data Guardian, Dell's Endpoint Security Suite Enterprise, self-encrypting drives, and a few other things. Five PCIe Express 3.0 slots and a single PCIe slot on the system board provide additional functionality to support your workload with faster network access cards, more storage, Teradici cards for remote access, and support for high-performance GPUs, top-of-the-line GPUs from both NVIDIA and AMD. With a single processor, you can install two single-width cards totaling up to 300 watts. With a dual CPU configuration, you can install a maximum of two double-wide graphics cards totaling up to 500 watts. HP's very similar Z6 G4 offers two M.2 slots directly on the motherboard, but Dell's 7820 has the hot swap front-mounted M.2 drive caddies, so somewhat similar but definitely more accessible on the Dell platform. Network communications are handled by an integrated RJ45 port on the back of the system, but you can install PCIe network card options featuring 10 gigabit Ethernet. There's no doubt about it, Dell's Precision 7820 Tower Workstation is a very well-designed platform offering fast, easy access for upgrades, flexibility to support a variety of specific workloads, and super fast performance with scalable processors plus M.2 and U.2 SSD support. And let's not forget those top-of-the-line GPUs. Where some people might find the 3 terabytes of memory and 42 terabytes of storage the Precision 7920 Tower offers way more than they need, the Precision 7820 supports the same processors and more than delivers the goods. Oh, and one more thing, we always get asked, is this a good platform for gaming? And I think the last comments posted on the Z8G4 review by Triple X does a nice job of answering that question, and I quote, just change the GPU from a Quadro to something else like the GeForce 1080 Ti, and you just turned a professional grade PC into a redneck gaming PC that costs several thousands of dollars. I love that comment. One more shout out to Andrew B. Thanks for pricing all the components from HP to mostly outfit the Z8G4 at just under $100,000. Andrew, IT Creations can do better, give us a call. And if you have any questions on this system, post them in the comments section below. I've also placed a few links for specs and pricing. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.